You are walking trophy. Girl, you are walking trophy. You are walking trophy. My girl, you are walking trophy. Yeah, your friends are my walking trophy. Hey my babies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Simply Strani. I'm back with another video. And today I'll be showing you guys how to achieve these cute passion twists. And this is begin beginner friendly because this was my first time trying this. So if you don't know what you're doing, you found the right place, okay? Because I'm gonna show y'all how to do this thing. I realize that I look completely naked right now, so I'm not naked. I have on a tube top, but Back to this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this thing. How to be, <laughs> y'all. These things really have me feeling myself. I'm not even lying right now. All right, y'all. Let's just get into this video. Okay, y'all. I know lighting is terrible. My camera is blurry. Lighting is terrible because I have my ring like low instead of high because I'm using a mirror and a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway. Let me turn this fan off. And I don't know if I want to do a voiceover or if I want to just talk through it, but I doubt I'll talk through it because I don't know. I already told you about that. I get distracted. But I'm just taking these twists out that I wore today to work. And it's currently 4 o'clock ish. I'm trying to see how long it takes me to do my hair. And I don't have anything in my hair but conditioner right now, leave-in conditioner. The reason I do voiceover is because I always have my fan on because I'm super hot all the time. And I'm getting hot. So this will probably be a voiceover. I want you to have your fresh twist out. You can't ball it. Once you got that done, comb it out. As soon as I find a comb. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a voiceover because I just turned the fan on. And I hate people have fans going in the background. And mine's is in the background right now, so cue the voiceover. So right now I'm just combing out my hair from my last hairstyle I have. And um, try to start with clean hair. I had washed my hair the night before, but I needed to do my hair for work. So I just put some conditioner in it and did a protective style like the twist you saw. So just try to make sure your hair clean because dirty hair is not cute. And if you have dirty hair while you have this hairstyle, it will make your hair super itchy or your scalp super itchy. And then you'll mess up your hair faster. So just try to have clean hair. Next, we're going to move on to the parting stage, which is probably the hardest part because you can't see behind your head and you got to try to get your part as straight as possible. But if you don't, it's whatever. It's good. So right now, I'm just parting off the back of my hair and choosing the size I want my part to be. And then I'm going to tie up the rest so it's out of the way. And then I'm going to take a mirror to make sure my part is straight which it probably won't be so then you're just gonna use your mirror to try to perfect this part as good as possible and once you're done with that you're gonna start working on individual sections and you're gonna get one part as big as you want grab your rubber bands and tie it around as many times as you want just to make it as secure as you want it to be <laughs> I'm so annoying. I think I feel it's recording. I'm sorry. You okay? Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I get you? You made me lose my part. <laughs> So this part isn't like mandatory. I was doing this way because I was going to do the crochet way, but my needle was way too small to get all of the hair through, so you don't have to do this part. I'll show you what I did later on in the video. And this is the kind of hair I use. It's called Lulu Tress Braid Crochet. I got 18 inches in the water wave. 
Um, you can use Water Wave or the Bohemian Curl, but I just chose Water Wave. Um, this hair was $5, or not even $5, it was $3.99, $4 at my local beauty supply store. And I did some off camera because I had to get the fill up first and learn how to do it. So I did some off camera and now I'm just showing you guys how I did that. So to achieve the size um, twist I have, I just used two strands of crochet and I lined them up and I made one end like an inch longer than the other one just so it won't be like a perfect like bob type. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want it to be the same size. Like if you know, then you know why. But I just put that between my two strands of hair. And then I put the two strands of hair over the weave and put and put a rubber band around it just to secure it. And then I pulled it tight so it won't come apart. And for this method, I did the braiding first. So I start off by braiding the hair, probably like three or four strokes down. I don't know what you call them. <laughs> three or four strokes down and then I started twisting the hair. For this one, I used the same rubber band method, but I'm not going to braid the beginning. I'm just going to start twisting right off the back. And I put each strand with a piece of weave to make it more even in size. And you're just going to twist all the way down to the end of the hair.
empower beings to touch. Early the next morning. So yeah, I use five packs on my head. Well, this is the fifth pack, but and I have this glove which will, which can do like one of the choices. But I got this much left, so I think it'll be enough. But yeah, for my hair, I use five packs. If you're trying to see how much you need, I use five. And if your hair mats, I'm gonna guess up. If your head is my size, then buy a pack of dip girl. Twenty dollars. Yeah, I want to know what I learned. So, like, the creator of these twists, I think her name is Boho Babe or something. She said to unravel the hair from the end. Like, pull it apart, which I don't want to do right now. But, like, pull it apart. And I, I noticed that when you pull it apart, the hair come out more, like, a little bumpy and, like, you know, not, like, right, well... I guess it is right since she's the creator, but not how I like it. It came out like bumpy and it's like hard to blend in with your real hair. But if you don't unravel the ends, it comes out like really smooth. So that's what I learned. So I'm not gonna unravel the ends. So if you guys don't, if y'all see me not unraveling the ends, don't be like, oh, she's doing it wrong. I'm just doing it my way, how I like it, okay? Okay, now this is just a preference. I'm a bit picky and I don't like seeing like ragged strands at the end of my hair. So I'm just going in and cutting off any ends that's like not cute and look nappy and got the hair looking a hot mess. So that's what I'm doing. But you don't have to do this because it's a little bit tedious, but I got problems and I don't like to see nappy hair. So.
so now I'm just going through the struggle of trying to lay my edges but I really like how it turned out I think it's really cute and I think I did a really good job for it being my first time so if you guys are beginners then I hope this video helped you in some way don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on that post notification bye